cooperative learning involves student collaboration to achieve a goal that could otherwise not be reached individually by the student. As you see here, students are engaged in cooperative learning. They're working together to achieve a goal of creating a circuit board. There are several benefits of using cooperative learning in your classroom. One is a social benefit. Here you see students engaged in social benefits. Cooperative learning places students in situations that are very much like real life, such as the workplace. Students must communicate with one another, display proper behavior, and explain reasoning and take ownership of their own ideas. Cooperative learning also has psychological benefits. When success is reached in cooperative learning, students display more positive attitudes and generally feel better about themselves and their ability to complete tasks, which leads to greater self-efficacy, which in turn leads to greater overall achievement. Cooperative learning also displays academic benefits as well. Some of the academic benefits of cooperative learning include a promotion of greater retention of material. This forces students to be producers of knowledge, not just receivers, and take a more active role in their own learning, as well as helping one another. Another benefit of cooperative learning is in the area of assessment. With this type of project, students can receive instant feedback, gain a more authentic assessment, and this allows for students to be assessed as groups, as well as individuals. Here you can observe students working together in groups. This is a portion of the student's grade to be assessed with how well they work with their groups and how well they achieve their goals together. Examples of individual work can be seen here as students work on their individual portions of this cooperative project. Although cooperative learning can be very effective, there are also some challenges that go along with cooperative learning. As seen here, one of the challenges with cooperative learning is that at times individuals will allow others to do work for them and only one member of the group is actually doing work. One solution to this type of problem is to assign roles for each person so that each individual must be involved in the process.